Hello, and this is our first of many presentation, presentations from myself. I am Mrs. Russell, the college counselor at Arbor Prep High School, Canton Prep High School, and Taylor Prep High School. I'm going into my third year, my second full year as college counselor um, for the three schools, and I am very excited. Just a little bit about me to start off. I am a graduate of the University of Michigan Flint. I graduated in 2010 with my degree in history, and then I graduated in 2013 with a master's of public administration. I have decided to return to college to attend Spring Arbor University to receive a master's of school counseling, and I will be finished with that program in 2019. I am married. I live in Flint, Michigan currently, so I do make a little drive to work, but it doesn't take me that long, about 45 minutes. Um, and I just bought a house there, so there's no way that I'm leaving. A lot of students ask me that a lot of times. I have a lot of interests. I'm in a sorority. I am an avid fan of Beyonce. I love watching TV. I enjoy traveling and spending time with my close friends and family. I've worked in college counseling for the past six years. When I graduated, I became an admissions counselor and assisted students with becoming a student on the University of Michigan Flint campus. And upon doing that, realized that I really liked the high school scene and I wanted to switch to the high school side. Um, but I've been in education for 10 years. When I initially entered into college, I began working as a paraprofessional in a special education classroom and transitioned throughout elementary school, high school, and then on to the college level. Just a little bit about our college advisory program. So here at the PrepNet schools, we are beginning to offer 9th through 13th year support. There is a lot of evidence that shows the students are not prepared uh, socially, emotionally, to leave high school and go directly to college a lot of times. And just having that additional support there is great. I feel like I've worked throughout their entire high school career to establish a relationship and staying with them throughout that summer will help to prevent summer melt. Summer melt is a time during the summer and before they are actually enrolled in their college that things happen that prevent them from actually enrolling. So this summer we had issues such as financial aid fell through, um, parents moving and were planning to stay at home and now they don't know how to apply to a school in a different state, um, not understanding where to get their scholarships, not knowing where to pay for classes, things like that that could prevent students if they're doing it alone and parents. But being able to offer that additional assistance to them throughout the summer has been awesome and has really assisted with most of our students entering into college during that 13th year. I like to make a special emphasis on the ninth and 12th grade, not saying that these two years are more important than the other two, but if students enter into our school in ninth grade are um, introduced to our college curriculum and myself quite frequently, then when they get to 10th and 11th grade, they will understand the importance of their grades, the importance of looking at colleges, the importance of looking at majors, the importance of coming and meeting regularly with me. Parents would have met regularly with me and then by the time we get to 12th grade, we're not behind. So that's why I say special emphasis on these two years. I enter into all of the ninth grade advisories or at their camps throughout the summer, introducing myself, playing a game and helping them understand how important their GPA is because that needs to be one, if not the top concern they have throughout their ninth and 10th grade year. We also offer college visits on and off campus. Juniors and seniors are allowed to come to five college visits that are located either in the college counseling room or in a designated classroom. Students will sign up with myself or at Taylor Prep, they will sign up with Ms. Allen and be called down when the schools visit. We also take students off campus for college visits. This year, we're looking at Michigan State, Wayne State, 
Western University of Michigan, Flint, and Oakland. So I will be sending out more information. It's important to know that these only happen because we have parents who volunteer to assist. So please make sure that we you remember that we will also need chaperones for these visits. Lunch and Learns are also new to our college advisory program and during this time students will be able to take their lunch and meet with myself to work on different initiatives every month. September and October we will be working on college applications during that time so that would be a great time for students who have not started or need additional assistance to stop down during lunch and work on those. We'll be doing career advisories, we will be looking at majors, how to pay for school and how to make the best of your summer. So please encourage your students to take part in that. I also offer direct support through the college application process. So whether that is completing the Common App with the students, completing recommendation letters, being a support by just sitting with them as they complete, because a lot of them are very nervous. Um, that is something that's great about our program is that I am able to sit with a lot of students one-on-one -on -one or in small groups to help them to feel positive about something so important that they're doing. And appointments can be made throughout the school day to meet with me. They do have to receive a pass from their teacher and after school on most days. Again, I am in school, so there are days that I have to leave, but most days I can stay after with students to work on college applications. So this year, 2017 to 2018, we have some awesome things to keep all of us on the same page. We are partners in your student success, so I am very excited to maintain communication between us and to make a lot of things more accessible for parents. Again, I will continue with the monthly newsletters like I have did for the past two years. Um, new this year, as you're watching now, will be the YouTube channel where parents can tune in and see a presentation they may have missed or other information. Every first Monday, I will post something new for parents to watch, so please make sure you subscribe parent meetings will continue starting with our senior meeting junior meeting and then again by popular demand we will have our underclassmen meeting where we talk about how to prepare for your junior and senior year we will continue to have events for the students this includes application mania i've sent a lot of college fair information home for college fairs in the area on top of those events we will be having decision day at the end of the year and senior week. And then uh, email is the best way for me to communicate with a lot of parents, so I will continue those when I have important information that cannot wait. So for the college planning process, for freshmen and sophomores, the most important thing they can start doing now is working to start with a strong GPA. I often tell students that their GPA has got kind of like weight, so it's very easy to put on weight. <laughs> is very easy. You eat a pizza, you eat a hot dog, and you've gained three pounds. But boy, is it hard to lose that weight. You can eat right for three weeks and still not have dropped a pound. So that is the way that GPAs go. A student can work very, very hard to get their GPA up, but it's much harder to try to get it up to the GPA that you feel like you need than it is to lose it. So students will want to make sure that they come in and start off on a good path. I have had this conversation with many of them already and will continue to have this throughout the year, but parents will definitely want to make sure they're logging into Infinite Campus to stay on top of their students' work. Students want to get involved in and out of our prep. They'll want to look for leadership opportunities in organizations here and throughout the community. Look for community service hours. You need 60 in order to graduate from a prep net school. However, you can receive 120 and get volunteer cores, or you can receive more than that and look for scholarships. So that's a great way to add to your resume. It's a great way for colleges to begin looking at you even more, and it's a great way to spend your time throughout the summers. Freshmen and sophomores will want to set goals, so starting small. I want to receive an A in my AP World History class. 
something along those lines would be great to work on goal setting because that is a big part of senior year. Students will want to attend lunch and learn. So even though September and October will not be for them, I will have the rest of the year, which will have events for the freshmen and sophomores for them to be a part of. So they'll definitely want to make sure that they come and learn. And then definitely for them to come down and meet me. I know it can be a little scary sometimes for students to come um, when there are seniors and juniors in the room, but I encourage freshmen and sophomores to come down early and do some college digging so we can know what goals we are reaching for. For my juniors, so this is a very important year. They want to continue to work on their GPA, but one thing juniors need to remember is that after this year, you are applying to college. A lot of colleges are not going to get a chance to see your senior year grades until the end. And even though those are still important, your junior year grades are going to make or break that GPA. They'll want to attend advisory. Advisory counts towards the GPA. And a lot of students do not believe this, so they come late. They don't give their all during advisory and that can hurt your grade. So just make sure that you give everything during advisory that you give in your regular courses. They wanna narrow their list of colleges down and really begin to look at if they wanna stay in state or out of state. If they wanna to go to a large university with over 50,000 students or if they're looking for a school that has around 1,000. Parents, this is where you come into play because students are wanting to hear from you what you think is a good idea. If you cannot afford for your child to go out of state without scholarships to carry the book, then that's the conversation that needs to be had so that when we're looking, we're not spending all of our time looking at out of state schools. They'll want to attend at least five college visits. So again, I bring those colleges in to do presentations. Um, so they'll want to attend at least five of those. And then they want to develop a strong transcript. Dual enrollment is available. We have a lot of students who take advantage of that and start their college transcript process early and advanced placement courses. AP courses are the best way to get that college credit. So I encourage students to take as many AP courses as they feel they will be successful in. For my seniors, this is your year. You want to watch those deadlines. So there are some scholarship deadlines that are in October. So that's very important that if you're thinking about holding off your transcript until you retake the SAT, you make sure that that deadline is not earlier than what your SAT will be provided for you. I sent the email out about two weeks ago that detailed when the tests were and when the scores were expected to be back in the testing center and emailed out. So make sure you are paying close attention to those. You'll also want to attend advisory. Remember, this counts. And even though you may think, you know, senior year, they're not going to see my transcript. If I get in, I'm fine. No, I have to send that final transcript. And for a lot of schools, I have to notify them if you've had a big drop off of grades. So you just want to make sure that your transcript and your schedule are still college preparatory. Make sure you, you proofread your college essay. Don't just start your application and then just send in that essay. And if you have had a drop off in your grades throughout your years, you want to make sure that you do actually send in that college essay, even if it's optional. For more information, you can definitely stop and ask me, and I'll tell you if you need to complete the essay or not. But only if it's optional. If it's not optional, you have to do it. I'm sorry. FAFSA opens October 1st. You'll want to go in and begin working on that ASAP. After October 1st, do not go in before then because you may see a FAFSA open, but it's not the 2017-2018. Visit college campuses or college fairs. I've sent a list of college fairs that are going to be in the area, and I also may be taking a couple of students in my personal vehicle if any are looking to go um, to a couple of fairs that are going to be highlighting schools that are not in the area. If there are schools that are in the Michigan area or in Ohio and you can go visit, I definitely encourage you to visit. Seeing a campus online is completely different than seeing a campus um, and being able to eat there and experience their culture. You want to continue to work on your GPA. Remember, you don't just get to stop and drop off. You have to continue that. You want to complete your community service hours, you need those for graduation. And remember, in order to get 
the white course for volunteer hours those need to be completed by spring break and prepare for early release so there'll be more given about early release later but know that you have to be on top of your game and passing all your classes in order to receive that So I can be reached by phone and text at 553-9326. I love to text. I text all the time. Students are encouraged to text me. Parents are encouraged to text me. Um, that's a great way for us to keep in contact no matter what school I'm in. My email is trussell at prepnetschools.com. I also can be emailed at trussell at Taylor Prep or trussell at Arbor Prep or trussell at Canton Prep. So don't worry if you sent it to either or. And then I'm available for meetings, but they're usually after school for parents because during the school day, I like to make sure that my time is dedicated to reaching every student who may need me. I thank you for listening. And if you have any questions or concerns or comments, please make sure that you write them at the bottom. Please make sure you subscribe and email me if you have any suggestions for further videos. Have a great day.